Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you with tequila and IPA, how could you go wrong? Tequila Barrel My Kiss is an 8.3% tequila barrel aged IPA from Black Rocks Brewery in Marquette, Michigan. I am a big fan of tequila barrel aged IPAs. Now it's been a couple years since I've recorded the original My Kiss review and I'm looking forward to trying this one because this one is a tequila barrel aged version. Now I've seen an untap where they credit this at being at 9%, but we'll take a look at the label. We'll get to the bottom of that whole situation. But first I'd like to thank my executive producers, Brian Kramer and David Jeffries for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel or maybe even just buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.com slash draft underscore therapy where you can get early access to these videos exclusive patron only live streams and a few other special perks available only to patrons let's take a look at the label so if we look at the front here it has the black rocks label on the top it says tequila barrel my kiss ipa and this one instead of having i think they look like little seeds on the original my kiss on this one they have all these little skulls on it on the bottom here it says barrel series and it says abv on the bottom 12 fluid ounces we'll look at the bottom real quick and this says tequila, ABV 8.2%. This was canned on June 8th, 2021. If we turn it to the side here, it says our succulent IPA is dry hopped, aged in fresh tequila barrels, then dry hopped again. Turn a little bit more. It says we love beer, you love beer, let's get together, brewed and canned in Marquette, Michigan. And then the government warning. I want to show you uh, the bottom here where it says Tequila, ABV 8.2%. We'll show it on the overhead too in case that makes it a little bit easier to see. And yeah, so that's really interesting. I think with the way that Untap works, you know, it, it's, I'm sure batches can vary, you know, from, from batch to batch, obviously the ABV, the alcohol content, but let's go ahead and crack this. We'll put a nose on it. And let's give it a sniff here. It's got a dankness to it. It doesn't. It has a bit of a citrus kind of note to the to the aroma. I'm not really picking much up on the tequila kind of barrel aged front from the nose. But let's go ahead and pour it. It's coming up pretty light, pretty clear, a nice light yellow. We'll pour a little bit more. And collecting in the glass is a little bit more of a darker kind of copper color. I'm getting about I'd say like a finger and a half worth of head here. Let's go ahead and hold it up to the light. And that is, it's a little bit hazy. It's got a bit of a haziness to it. I can see a shadow of my fingers through it, but I'm not really seeing any detail through it. So it is a little bit hazy. It's got a nice white head. Let's put a nose on it here on the glass. I feel like I pick up a little bit more on the tequila on the actual, out of the glass here, rather than out of the can. It's a little bit bigger of a, you know, sample size, but let's try it out. Cheers. It has a really nice, um, there's like a, okay, let's start with the mouthfeel. So the mouthfeel's nice and kind of light. It's a little bit on the lighter side. It's not quite as, you know, maybe medium mouthfeel as I would expect from an IPA. I think even the regular My Kiss has a little bit of a thicker mouthfeel, but it has a, it has a nice kind of crisp mouthfeel to it. Let's talk about the flavor. So there is this really light kind of tequila barrel flavor to it. It's not offensive. It's not overly tequila. If you're not a tequila fan, I know sometimes when you drink a tequila barrel aged anything, you know, that it picks up a lot of, sometimes it can pick up a lot of that tequila barrel characteristic, and that can be off-putting, especially to people that aren't into tequila. But if you're not into tequila, why would you be buying this in the first place? Um, but the flavor the, that you get is a little bit of, you get a little bit of a barrel characteristic, but you get, and just like the regular My Kiss, you get a little bit more of a floral kind of note to it, a little bit more of a floral taste out of it. There's almost, you get this tequila bite on it. And like I said, that's a lot of the barrel characteristic. It almost has a bit of a char kind of flavor, tequila barrel char kind of flavor in there, uh, along with the floral notes. But it's not even really that strong of an IPA flavor. It's not really offensively uh, bitter in any in any respect. Like I said, it has that floral kind of note to it, but also has that tequila, a tequila barrel char kind of flavor to it, The you know, the barrel characteristic. 
I'm not even really picking up. It almost has like a lighter flavor, and I think the, the tequila barrel aging adds a little bit to a lighter of a lighter flavor to it. It's not like even with my kiss, it has a little bit more of a stronger flavor to it. And this is really kind of light across the board. It's not offensive in any way. You don't get a big like burst of tequila flavor in it. It's a little bit more of a subdued, a little bit more of a tequila barrel, as I've said a couple times now. But you also get that kind of floral note. But it doesn't really even carry through. Like the flavor, the 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 hoppiness or the flavor of the IPA doesn't really carry through much. It's almost really light on that end too. So it's just got a really light flavor overall, which is really kind of intriguing considering, like I said, this is 8.2%. I know it can kind of fluctuate a little bit, you know, maybe a point here more or less, you know, based on different batches and whatnot, but it's not, it doesn't just have like a big bursting flavor. It's just really kind of mild, really mellow. It's very dangerous. It doesn't have an 8.2% flavor to it. It has a, almost a little bit of a sweeter kind of honey flavor in there, too, that kind of picks up right on the end of the swallow. It's a little bit, like I said, it has that more floral kind of hoppy characteristic, not bitter, not citrus, not, not uh, piney, but... You know, you get that little bit of the tequila, you get that little bit of the IPA flavor in there that kind of mixed together, but it's kind of light on all respects. Very dangerous. I could This comes in a four-pack. I could see, you know, if you went through a four-pack, you'd probably get yourself into some trouble, but I could see you going through it very easily because, again, it doesn't have a really super uh, big flavor to it. It's not a really big, uh, big character, so... I like it in the respect that it's lighter, but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more tequila uh, flavor to it. You know, you're you're looking at this and you're saying to yourself, oh, tequila barrel, my kiss IPA. I love my kiss. I love tequila. Let's get the best of both worlds. But I feel like there's a little bit of a, a subtraction, you know, subtraction through addition. You add the two things together, but you're not get, getting a really big burst of either. But I am looking forward to seeing what else comes out in this barrel series from Black Rocks. All right, friends, that has been Tequila Barrel Aged My Kiss IPA from Black Rocks Brewery in Marquette. Do you have you had this beer? Do you have a favorite barrel aged IPA that you think I should check out? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. These guys are in Marquette, Michigan, and the UP. And until next time, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.